so well right now for this group? Just playing some great basketball, trusting each other. Staying poised. Clax had two of the biggest plays there at the end um, with the stop on and then the block on Darius. Um, just over the few last few years, uh, what have you seen from his development and the confidence that he's obviously had grown? Uh, I think you said it, just that confidence in her knowing that um, you know he's a big piece for us and we need him every night. Kyrie, you mentioned being back in Cleveland. You sent out that tweet yesterday. Mm -hmm. When you do come back to Cleveland, touchdown and then you play in this arena what memories come rushing back to you uh i think a bunch just i mean had my first draft workout here my only draft workout <laughs> um you know the amount of pressure i was putting on myself coming in after uh the prodigal son of lebron james leaves um and i have to take on the ropes after that and who knows if i was ever going to live up to that billing um, but I put that pressure on myself to fill some shoes that were never meant for me. You know, I just wanted to create my own legacy. Um, and in, in order to do that, I had to endure some rough years where we only had a few thousand people in the stands. Um, and I was kind of, you know, feeling that at times going home, feeling like a lone ranger or a lone superhero, you know, trying to bring Cleveland back to the top. And um, I think the greatest... Uh, lesson I learned throughout that process was, you know, it's not a lonely road that you're supposed to take on your own. Um, and it takes a lot of help. And, and we had a heck of a team here that did something special that's forever uh, sketched in NBA history. You know, no matter what they say about me or anybody else, they have to talk about that team. You know, they try to isolate me and say, well, Kai, what have you done since you left here? And it's like, it takes building a great team in order to accomplish something special. And I understand that. Um, and I don't take this moment that I'm at right now for granted because it took all those times for me to go through being here in Cleveland in order to achieve something special. And that's what I'm on the journey to do now, I feel, with this team here in Brooklyn. So uh, Cleveland's never in the rear view, uh, but it is definitely uh, something I look back to, to to remember what it takes to be a champion and how many years I had to endure and all the... Uh, you know, times of, of just dealing with all of this, you know what I mean, what comes with it. And uh, people doubting, and that's what makes me great, is just continuing to focus on what I do best and uh, just letting my play speak for itself. You made your debut 11 years ago tonight. What do you remember about that game? Uh, I remember not being very good my first game. Uh, you know, I was on a Knuckleheads podcast when I talked about Jose Calderon being my first person that kind of gave it to me in the league. And I think he had a double-double. Uh, you know, of course, being in that position of a number one pick, you're expected to come out with this debut, uh, which I didn't. And um, it's okay. I, I just believe in... Um, you know, late bloomers sometimes are the best, and I'm blooming late in this league, um, and I'm okay with that uh, as long as I got some good guys around me, um, some good friends, great relationships in the league uh, that I could always look uh, to for advice. That's all it's, that's all it's about now. It's just helping and, and winning ball games. You're talking about building this team in Brooklyn as your guys grow. Just today, between Jacques and Jalen, you guys have been talking about how this Nets team has seemed to turn around because the focus is entirely on basketball. Uh, mm -hmm. Any other stuff outside seems to be put aside and everybody's focusing on the task at hand. Would you agree with that assessment that that's kind of been the biggest key in your, in your guys' turnaround? Uh, I mean, for me personally, I, I think I just put myself aside at times and just trust what we got going on here and just allow the big picture to happen. Um, prepare myself every night for what role I'm playing and go from there and just live with the results. Any external um, negativity or praise, I really don't care about it. I think I'm just focused on being the best version of me and just letting the results play out based on how, how well um, we trust one another as a group.